Oh man. Hello everyone. Welcome on back to the channel. I'm sitting here and I'm like, what do I feel like listening to? What am I in the mood for? And I'm in the mood for adventure. I want to be taken somewhere. I want to be slapped across my face musically. <laughs> I want to be shocked. I want to be like, I want something interesting. And I know I'm going to get that if we listen to Miss Nina Hagen. So we're going to continue on here. Nun, Sex, Monk, Rock. We're going to listen to the first track actually here. We last listened to Smackjack. Now we're gonna listen to Anti World, the first track here on the album. I, I just really wanna hear, I just wanna know where this is going. I, I just wanna hear what she's doing. I, I, I'm curious, not even scared curious. I'm just very curious. I wanna hear what's going on with Miss Hagen. So let's listen to the track here, Anti World. We'll talk about it after. Let's dive in. I know when it's getting Jesus interesting already. Jesus was walking down his way on earth, he met this man who was possessed by a demon. And Jesus Rest. asked the man, why do you speak so funny? And why do you behave like that? And the man said, well, Jesus, because I'm possessed by a demon. Go ahead, Jesus said. And the demon went out into the pig, and the pig was running away. Well, and the man was free. Do you see? If you only could believe, Jesus said, everything is possible for those who believe. The musical landscape is just. This is why I wanted to listen to Nina. This is why. deny it's, like it's creativity. This part reminds me of Therion. I don't know why. Neiget eure Ohren her und kommt her zu mir. Höret, so wird eure Seele leben. Denn ich will mit euch einen ewigen Bund machen, dass ich euch gebe die gewissen Gnaden. So cool. Der Herr, 
dein Gott ist König. Rufe die Trost. Erhebe deine Stimme. I told you what I wanted, and I 110% got exactly what I was wishing for. Oh, man. Nina's music is just so interesting. All right, so let me just tell you, like, what I'm feeling. Like, I, I love that. I, I love how unique it is, but at the same time, it's not so abstract that, like, it's unlistenable. Like, it, it's it's very listenable. I enjoyed it. Um, uh, how can you speak about her without talking about her range? In the very beginning, right, when she's talking about, uh, uh Jesus, right? So, at first she talks about, like, it's just, like, straight kind of narration. She's kind of, like, normal, right? Once upon a time, when Jesus was walking down his way on earth, he met this man who was possessed by a demon. And then, at that point, she changes her, her delivery completely into this, this demonic, possessed kind of sound, and she pulls it off so, so well. Um, just to bring this into modern times, one of my, I don't know if I would say one of my favorite artists, but one of my favorite albums of this year, 2023, was saved by the previous Lingua Ignota, now uh, Reverend Christian Michael Hader. And I wonder if she was influenced by Nina Hagen. Now I'm just talking. I, I just wonder if there was some influence there because I hear some similarities and just the use of vocals and delivery and stuff here. But coming back to Nina, um, it just shattering all the, all the worlds, just shattering glass with what she does there. And I like how at the end, when she just begins to speak, her voice just sounds so, so normal. Obviously it does because she's just speaking, but like, it's so impressive how someone can go from such a, a normal speaking voice into all these different dimensions and facets and pull them off so, so perfectly, really from these throaty growls into sweet singing into operatic stabs i mean it's just going in so many different directions the music behind her is killer i love the soundscape that's that's built up in the very beginning it has a little bit of a middle eastern vibe to it with just the sway of it it has to me like it has like a saharan kind of kind of sound there and then like the way that it escalates there the drumming was fantastic very like just, just rocking but like in this very heavy way some of the moments in there actually remind me of Therion a little bit as well and i know i'm saying reminds me of i know Therion came later you know what i mean um i, I was getting evil kate bush Therion, christian hater i mean i don't know I was, I was getting a lot from this but this is a this was a fun listen that was good i enjoyed that i can i definitely know that this is not for everybody but this was for me uh, once upon a time when Jesus was walking down his way on earth, he met this man who was possessed by a demon. And Jesus asked the man, why do you speak so funny? And why do you behave like that? And the man said, well, Jesus, because I'm possessed by a demon. Go out, Jesus said. And the demon went down into the pig. And the pig went running away, screaming, and the man was free. Do you see? If you only could believe, Jesus said, everything is possible for those who believe. Then it moves away from that story. The real Bukashim? Bush. I do not have to, I don't even know what that word means. Bukakashim is our neighbor. His face is gray as Pravda paper, but like balloons of red or blue, bright antsy worlds float over his head. The black hole of Einstein is a real thing, but without the real roots is an abstracting. Anti Bukakashim, the academian, <laughs> left in the arms of Lolo Brig Brigid. I am getting tested here. <laughs> Lolo Brigidis. Brigidus. Anti-world, anti-world. Black hole, black magic, oh so tragic, anti-fantastic and anti-hell. Glorious Bible, dynamic passage, it's like to clean an anti-mess. Devil's Paradise is anti-religious, anti-bukashim is not into it. He's a scientist, a real believer in anti-world and anti-meanings. I gotta tell you, I have no idea what I just read, to be honest. Um, now the ending part, which obviously she speaks in German, I do see the translation here. It is, uh, it's Bible verses from Isaiah which is saying, incline your ear and come unto me here and your soul shall live. I will make an everlasting covenant with you, even the sure mercies of David. And it goes on from there. Um, and it ends with call upon him while he is near. The wicked have no peace, says the Lord. Your God is king. Raise your voice. Well, she she for sure raised her voice in this track. <laughs> that is no doubt. There's no doubt about that. This was a great track. I have no idea really exactly what it's talking about, but 
uh, I, I enjoyed it. So there's that. Let me know what you guys thought, however, in the comments down below. You can follow me over on Twitter. You can support the channel on Patreon. Thank you, as always, for being here. And I hope that you stop on by tomorrow, guys. Bye.